how to create the new user account with Nimbus accounting uh, first you need to go to sign up we have a few countries so uh, default is uh, Malaysia so I'm um, this time I'm going to create the account with uh, Singapore so I select the Singapore and I have three type of account free standard premium so this time I'm going to create the free account so I free account I select fan so I'm agree with the term and condition so in this uh, page is the place where we can create our account under Singapore uh, so here is the company details so I'm going to type my company detail address Okay, so country is Singapore, so telephone number. Okay, uh, fax number. If you don't have, you can leave it this thing. Okay, email is compulsory, so I'm putting sales at demo.com. So once you enter company email address, your user ID also will be the same. But if you need to change it, of course you can change it. You can delete this one and enter your uh, login ID, email ID as you wish. So I'm just this time I'm going to leave it as it is. So I enter password, retype password, and my display name I put it James. Okay, uh, register. Okay my password is not match okay I type again okay once you create the account it will come to uh, my business uh, business setting page under my business so you can see other all the tabs is disabled so you had to finish uh, you had to configure your business setting first before uh, before you start the uh, Nimbus accounting system so uh, under my uh, the business setting we can see a uh, few tabs uh, profile business info uh, user logging uh, user group and rights and printing template so the compulsory tab is a business info that's why it's a default selected but uh, i will go for a profile first to see what are the inside is there so i'm at the profile so profile company id will be generated by the system and this is the your information you key in, you already key into the system so uh, you can fill if there is anything blank so i put in my delivery address same as my office address and telephone one so contact person i put it uh, david so uh, telephone one telephone two i don't have so i just leave it my email address okay i click save okay i go to my business info tab now so all the company has the registration number so you can if even you can leave it this one blank will not be a problem so uh, currently singapore all the companies has a registration number so i'm going to enter some num some number for this okay and uh, sales tax registration number so in singapore we have gst if you are gst registered then you have the reg tax uh, GST registered number if not just uh, leave it blank so this time I'm going to create the GST registered company so I uh, I enter some number and click save okay and the business info 
uh, your financial year 2012 December 31st if you need to change it you can change it and click save I'm not going to change this time and your business currency is a Singapore dollar because your account is created under Singapore so uh, and the other currency you can add uh, available currency here got some available currency if you need any other currency which is not available here you can contact Nimbus accounting support team to add for you so this time I'm going to add to US dollar to my account okay I add my US dollar to my account and I will go to account receivable uh, numbering so uh, here got few numbers so actually account receivable numbering is an invoice number this is the number we generate our AR invoice so it got two part uh, prefix and the number prefix you can enter character and numeric anything uh, but is uh, limited to five character and invoice number is a running number it should be numeric you should not enter any character here so uh, if, if our prefix is starting from INV so if you need to change it to anything else of course you can change it but this time I'm not going to change it for any number so credit no delivery order all will be leave it as default so account payable also same uh, is also have the prefix and the number running number so same as the account receiver this time I'm not going to change it any number inventory numbering also same I'm not going to change any number this time and the other information the, there is the stores location for your inventory so currently is a uh, default is a uh, main store if you, if you don't have it there must be a one store in this uh, uh, system so that's why it's a main store if you have another store you can enter here and you can delete this uh, main store and the payment type uh, currently it has a few payment type already selected is a credit cash uh, check credit card and nets is already selected if you don't want any num the payment type you can remove tick and you can add some more so I remove next and add the online so I click save first after that this is the sales tax portion so uh, in Singapore we have sales tax GST is a 7% in an another country is a uh, default is set up for 7% because it's this account is created under Singapore so if you create it under another other countries it will be zero so you have to set up your GST the sales tax maybe GST or maybe VAT to as uh, on that country so you can change it here and click save and here's the GST type uh, sales tax type so as default is a uh, uh, tax inclusive is uh, default selected for AR invoice and AP invoice credit note and voucher so that's mean when you creating an invoice system will automatically create the generate the sales tax for you calculate the sales tax so if your company is not sell, uh, tax registered so uh, then you can change the zero tax to as a default so you can bring up zero tax so then the default is uh, selected as zero tax anytime when you create the invoice or credit note the tax will be zero or unless uh, you can delete the other tax type so uh, I delete my other tax type so yeah I have removed my other so is my uh, AR invoice only has the zero sales tax and you, as you wish you can change it in the AP invoice and voucher also but this time my company is a tax registered so I'm going to add the other type and I'm going to change it to inclusive uh, my default and second is uh, exclusive so I click save okay so uh, my setting is for uh, business info is completed now I just go to other three tab also to see what is inside so I go to user login here is the place we can create new users for my uh, this uh, demo company private limited uh, let's say my company has a few uh, different user few accounting and sales people I, we can create many as many user account but as a free uh, uh, account 
you can create only one user login but if you register as a premium you can create many so this time i'm not going to create anything so here is the place to create new user login so you can click here and enter the details so i'm going to user group and uh, rights here is the place to change the user rights so currently we have few user groups is already in the system if you need to add new user group for customized by yourself so you can add here new user group and uh, or existing user group you can change the user rights from here uh, current user is created as administrator so administrator can do anything so you can see here administrator if you go to account so his account is is this one uh, or clerk let's say you need to create the new account for your clerk so clerk can maybe clerk only can do uh, creating new invoice credit note so the clerk can be account receivable he can uh, read and insert but he cannot edit or delete so like that we can change the user rights uh, according to the, the person uh, responsibility in the company so uh, after that i will go to printing template so this is the place you print all the report and report so um, main one is a ar invoice ar credit note ar delivery note so um, currently we have uh, only one type of uh, this report is a standard uh, ar invoice or standard credit note which is uh, just a plain text one if you need customized uh, invoice you can contact the nimbus accounting support team to customize the with your company logo those things the customize the invoice so here is here is the title for all the reports any year so i currently i have select ar invoice and my title is invoice but my uh, company is a, since my company is a tax register so i put it as a tax invoice and here is the term and condition so i can put some terms i can put some terms uh, Okay, I, I will copy some terms from here and paste it so this is my term and conditions uh for okay uh, like this to make it nicer so this is my term and condition for my ar invoice so i click save okay so my all the tab is completed now i can start my business by clicking this one so once you click this one these tabs will be enabled for you to do your transaction so i click start my business okay so now it's enabled so this time it's it go to default it go to import existing account balance sheet so that's mean if you have a current balance sheet uh, which is for cutoff date so you can uh, download our excel format keying all the information to this excel format and import to existing system which you can start uh, you can import your existing account balance sheet then you can start your business here if if you don't have your current balance sheet or current accounting system just go ahead to uh, do your transaction with nimbus account as a fresh uh, uh, account so his uh, dashboard is here.